welcome back to my channel so today I just want to go ahead and do a really quick video for you about bed bugs um, I actually got a few requests about like, how do you search for bed bugs to make sure that you don't have them in your room so this is just how I personally do it so you know you can do it this way tweak it a little bit to your own liking however you want to do it but this is just how I do it whenever I get to a layover so I'm here in Dallas I just got here I put my things up now I'm about to check my um, bed and then I hop in the shower so let's get it all right so first what I do is I pull back the sheets and then I go around the entire bed and I pull out um, the covers from around the entire bed and then I I inspect that to make sure I don't see anything like black or anything crawling or whatever. So you just pull it all up. Alright, so I don't see anything, which is great. So yeah, and then you just kind of want to pull them back like this. Just kind of look at it. You, know, you want to look at the top. Make sure there's nothing up here on the top. You know, it's easy to see stuff up there. All right, so now you're going to go through the pillows because they can also be in the pillows as well. So, so kind of inspect the pillows, front and back, all of the pillows. You also want to look in like cracks and stuff like that too. So like you can look inside the pillows. I don't always do this part as far as like looking all inside of the pillows, but it's something that you can do, you know, if you, if you, you know, paranoid like that. So um, I just kind of look around the pillows to make sure I don't see anything. We're free. Bounce only by frozen memory. we've done um, the comforters all the sheets we've also done the pillows so what you also what some people also like to do is look like underneath the bed because people have found like shoes and just all kinds of craziness you'll be surprised what you can find in the hotel room so sometimes there is like a board there to where you can't see what's underneath the bed but sometimes you can see what's underneath there. So if you can, then it is nice to at least look and make sure there's like no crazies underneath there, no dead bodies, you know, no clothes, you know, it's all kind of stuff that you find. So this one doesn't have a board. Usually, you know, they have a board. So let's see. <laughs> All right, so we're good underneath the bed. Um, another thing some people like to do is they like to lift up the mattresses. Um, I don't, this is something I used to do. I will be honest, I don't really do it as much anymore. I guess I kind of got lazy with it. But for the most part, I mainly just check like the pillows and the comforter and then I, I'm done. But, you know, just for those who might be extra paranoid and new, I understand. So we can check underneath the mattress. <laughs> And also too, you can use like your flashlight. I know that's usually a required item for flight attendants. So let's get the flashlight. All right, we have the flashlight. Ooh child, all right, it'll be a bit tiring. <laughs> All right, so the flashlight, doing the whole flashlight thing, it is a lot more um, effective when you have a partner with you, so therefore they can like lift up the mattress while you do the flashlight and actually look. But I mean, it can definitely be done by yourself. You just have to be strong, use one hand to lift up the mattress, the other hand to kind of use the flashlight and make sure you get down low enough to make sure you can actually see. So now, 
if you don't lift it like all the way up then you can't see like the middle parts of the mattress so like I said, it, like I said, it's more effective when you have someone else there with you to kind of help lift these things and then you can kind of like assess as necessary. But for the most part, honestly, checking around like the edges and stuff like that, that's a trick for me personally, but you do what's best for you. So um, another thing that you can also do while you're in your hotel rooms is, I know, so I don't know if you're gonna wanna do this all the time, especially with being in different hotels all the time as a flight attendant, but when you're like at least by yourself, um, I know bed bugs, they don't like like tea tree oil and stuff. So I have heard of flight attendants using tea tree oil and they'll put like either some like cotton balls or something like underneath um, the mattresses and stuff and that supposedly helps keep them away. And I've also heard of them putting tea tree oil in some water like and that's a spray bottle and they carry the spray bottle with them. So therefore, whenever they go on a layover, they just spray the comforter down with that. So therefore, they don't have to worry about the bed bugs getting to them if they happen to get if they happen to have bed bugs in the bed with them so um so yeah so i just want to come on here really really quickly um give this video to you guys i know some of you have actually been waiting like girl where is the video about the bed bugs so here it is and i hope it was very informative for you guys so yeah thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next video bye